Let's talk about some more Vancouver Canucks prospects, in particular today, Adam Gaudet, playing in today's semifinal game in the Beanpot Tournament for Northeastern University against Boston College. This one was on TSN2, if any of you guys wanted to look out for that. And this one was a Northeastern Huskies victory. It was 3-0 over there at TD Garden in Boston. And what a game this was. The Beanpot games, they're usually very competitive and fun to watch if you're a hockey fan. And these ones were fun. If you guys want, you guys need to go over and check out the NESN Twitter account because they posted highlight packages of this game on their feed. They got videos of all the goals, really good chances, posts, and everything. So if you guys can, check that out because it's awesome. Northeastern, though. Adam Gaudet's team, fifth round pick for the Vancouver Canucks, Adam Gaudet, played here tonight. And in this 3-0 victory over the Boston College Eagles, Adam Gaudet gets himself three points. A goal and two assists is enough to put the Northeastern Huskies on top. You can catch the final game in the Beanpot Tournament at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Time on Monday, February the 12th. So that's a week from now. The final will feature Northeastern University playing up against whoever wins tonight's game of Boston University versus Harvard. The winner of that game will go on to face Northeastern next week at 4.30 Pacific. That will most likely be on TSN2. Don't take my word for that, but considering that this game was on TSN2, this other game, the final might, it will probably be on TSN2 as well. But... Today, with Northeastern's victory over the Boston College Eagles, this is the first time since 1975 that BC has lost three Beanpot games in a row. So, we're shaping history here, folks. Northeastern is really defining what it means to be in this college league. And they couldn't have done it without their top line, their top forward line. Adam Gaudet, Dylan Secura, and Nolan Stevens. These guys were on fire. Stevens with five shots on goal. Secura with six shots on goal. Gaudet with five shots on goal. Each of these guys got a goal each. And on all three of these goals, Adam Gaudet assisted on every single one of them. Caden Primo was a very good goaltender in this performance. Boston College wasn't able to bury a lot of their opportunities, and you could just sense, if you just go onto any Boston College fan's Twitter page, you could see the frustration venting out about how the Boston College Eagles weren't able to bury their chances. Part of it is because, you know, the team always has a part in burying their own chances, but the other part of that is the fact that Primo genuinely played very well, and he had a shutout in this one. As he stopped 37 Boston College shots in this game, the Eagles just couldn't get on the board. 37 saves, 37 shots, Primo was a beast in this one, and Boston College, they had some really good offense driving downside their wings as well, particularly in Graham McPhee. I thought he was a very dangerous player out there for the Eagles. He had himself five shots as well, the most out of his team, and absolute threats. But Primo, Caden Primo, shined, and he shut them all out. Joseph Wall, on the other hand, led in three goals on 32 shots by Northeastern, and Northeastern takes this one. It's a three to nothing game. So let's talk a little bit about the goals that were scored here, because the first goal, it was a goal scored by Dylan Secura, and this one was a secondary assist to Adam Gaudet. It was on the power play. Gaudet, he didn't really do anything. Let's be honest here. If you watch the goal, it's on NESN's Twitter page. Gaudet, he has the puck at the far outside hash marks, sends it off to the defenseman, Jeremy Davies. Davies sends it over to Secura. Secura goes for a skate. He takes a shot. It deflects in. People thought that this was Steven's goal, actually, but no, it was Secura's. And because it was Secura's goal from Davies and Gaudet, it was a secondary assist for Gaudet. Frankly, if we're going to be honest, I don't think Gaudet really cared or not if it was his assist because... Northeastern was up by one. That was the important thing. The second goal of the game, it was actually Nolan Stevens' goal. It was his own this time. This one, Adam Gaudet is in the front of the net. He kind of tips it on a little bit. And then Dylan Secura, once again, he takes the puck. He goes for a skate. Yet again, 
turns, spins at the point, takes a good shot, tipped in by Stevens. That's his 18th of the season. This one, another secondary assist for Adam Gaudet. Then the third goal of the game, this one was even strengths as well as the second goal. This one was in the third period. Davies, Stevens, they touch the puck. The puck is loose over there in the front of the net and Adam Gaudet is there to tap it in. Absolute madness going over in TD Garden with just under five minutes left in the third. The Eagles, they're down by three and that's all she wrote. Boston College loses this one. Northeastern is going to the finals, trying to win their fifth Beanpot title. And their last one, it was in 1988. So, this is a long time coming. It's been 30 years since the last Northeastern Beanpot victory. And Adam Gaudet, Nolan Stevens, and Sakura are all going to try and reinforce that against whichever team is going to face them, whether that be Harvard or Boston University. But either way, Adam Gaudet gets his 20th goal of the season. He gets three assists in this one in arguably the most important game that the Huskies have played this season, the semifinal of the Beanpot Tournament. And now, next week, February 12th, at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Time, the Northeastern Huskies will play in the Beanpot Championship Finals. And I hope to see Adam Gaudet tear it up once again because he really has been tearing it up and it's beautiful absolutely beautiful this game it was an interesting game to watch boston college fans northeastern fans they were treated to a good game if you guys want to catch the championship game of the bean pot you might be able to catch it on tsn2 however I, i'm not too sure and i'm just assuming here anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video for plastics natural souls like that and gaming and bye